Well, hey there, YouTube. I am going, it's 46 degrees outside and very, very sunny. As you can see, check this out. Beautiful. Sunshine, sunshine. But anyway, I'm going to take the old uh, 72 out for a ride and I'm going to do a test today. Get out of the lights here a little bit. Um, I'm going to test three microphones the Knee Weir uh, little mini microphone. It's a uh, N E E W E R. I may be pronouncing this wrong, but um, anyway, I have the mini microphone that I've been using, and I have uh, a lapel mic that I have rigged up in my helmet. Uh, the mini mic is was suggested to me by Strip Bolt. Thank you very much. And also, I have the Sony uh, DS seventy P, a little stereo microphone. Uh, I have all three of them stuffed in the helmet at the same time. And so uh, I have three cords coming out so I can do a test. Okay, here's a quick video of my microphone test. This is a Neewear lapel mic. This is going to my Neewear uh, mini microphone. And this is going to the Sony uh, DS70P. Let's see if I can get this in here. The the mini mic you can see is laying in that cheek and the Sony I can do this. I'm trying to look at the camera. The Sony DSP 70 is sitting there and the lapel mic is tucked in right there without the little without the little hook. I just got some velcro kind of holding wires and stuff in place. The lapel mic obviously had a cord, <coughs> so I just wrapped it around there. It's just temporary for now. The uh, mini mic tucked in is, is pretty much permanent. So uh, there we are. Well, I head out for a test. See how these things sound. See ya. The uh, Neewear uh, mini microphone is pretty much permanent. But I keep having issues. I don't get the... Um, the uh, GoPro adapter plugged in all the way and I get all kinds of static. I did about an hour ride yesterday on the 72 and uh, it all became a wash. It was wasted because the microphone was bad. Uh, the connection was bad. There's a lot of static and at one point I looked back and forth at an intersection and a road and and uh, it cleared up for a few minutes and next segment it was bad again. Talked about uh, my username issue and uh, also uh, talked about some ice and snow rides I did as a as a young lad. So uh, a little over an hour's worth of video just busted. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try the Pro Tune on the uh, Hero 3 Plus also. So that will be something different. But uh, anyway, time's a wasting. It is... Yeah, it's, that clock hasn't been reset, so it's actually five minutes to two here in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm gonna take the old 72 here for a for a bomb. The the iron she's uh, kind of put away for the year. If I get a really nice day and the road can stay frozen, my dirt road if it warms up becomes a mud road. So uh, the Sony was uh, recommended to me, and if you guys listen, his audio is incredible. But it's a, a version of the mic that you can't get anymore. It's from uh, ProLens. But uh, the best one A is the one that suggested the uh, Sony to me. Um, the best one A. Thank you very much. We'll uh, we'll see how this thing works. I wish I could get the foam, the fur or furry, whatever it's called, on there. The noise suppression thing, but they're uh, they're not going to carry it anymore. So maybe somebody will. But uh, anyway, thanks for the iPhone or the uh, microphone ad uh, advice. <laughs> So, once again, I'm off. See you guys. Um, so, I'm starting off with the Sony DS70P. And uh, it's kind of tucked away pretty good, so I don't know how well this will work. This motorcycle is 15 ways to Sunday loud. Let's see if this thing's oversensitive or anything. I'll wait until this last car. Just in case it's still icy here. Could be. I see ice on the frost on the grass here. It did make 46 degrees.
like a bitch. <laughs> I wish you could have felt that. But some rich guy put these weird religious things out here. I don't even, not even sure. You can't see them because I'm lined up with them. There's a series of them. So anyway, I'm going to pull my gloves off. Where can I do this on the fly? But anyway, I'm going to stop the video. Okay, this is the lapel mic. She plugged in all the way. It looks like it is. I got some crackheads pulling up behind me here. I don't know if they're crackheads, I shouldn't say that. Guy just checking out the scenery, I guess. <laughs> the nice thing about this little area where we're not, we don't have a lot of drugs and stuff here. See, they're, they are lined up there. They've been there for about 10 or 12 years, maybe even longer. So one of the things I'm concerned with with this lapel mic is that uh, my beard's going to scratch against the windsock. And you're going to hear that. And it puts a bit of a shield over it. That depends on if I like it or not. I never even thought about using the lapel mic. I, I put the head strap in my 3 Plus. I'm like, okay, hey, this is shield crap. Let's get up to set. Mike for for doing you know reviews and repairs and things like that so I've got a a mic to use instead of just the GoPro. Well this is kind of boring if I go straight out. This is the little town of Winlock. Been around here forever and goes back into the 1800s. These buildings I think are still here from the 1800s. They're quite old. Firehouse restaurant. It's just this little small hometown place. It's awesome. The wife and I were up here. This Ace Hardware up here. It's the end of that building here on my on my left. The guy walking across the street is actually going into it. And it's a really old building. It's so cool. The prices aren't really good, but I, I really enjoy going there. But uh Anyway, we, we got whatever we were getting from the hardware store and uh, walked down the street to that firehouse and had lunch. Very, very good. Very good. I think we had some burgers and they were just like, you know, these little small town burger joints, you know, just this bondo sized thing. In fact, I think my wife cut hers in half and doggy bagged it. So I wish I had a way of quickly, I mean, I guess I could have thrown my iPad in my backpack and play back some of the video. I don't know if I should stay with the lapel mic or, or go with the uh, um, Sony again. So on that note, since we've got a little place to pull off here, I'll go back to my old try, yeah, <laughs> tried and true. Um, Mini mic. The Neewer is it? Can somebody tell me if I'm pronouncing that right? N e e w e r. Don't know if that's right or not. So I'm gonna stop, switch this mic out, put my gloves back on, and we'll hit the road. Okay. This is the, the Neewer Mini mic. If you look at their uh, advertisements on it. It shows it plugged into the side of a uh, laptop. Almost had a look like it might have been a little bit damp. You know what? I took off that one. 
never put the name back on the tower. They, it's like they only painted the name off of it. This is a little town called Napa Vine. One of these little, kind of off the freeway little places. It's kind of quaint. Very, very hometowny. They have, you know, little uh, street fairs and parades and stuff. It's awesome. I don't know what the population is here. It can be, can be too high. Why is that such a comforting thing to see? The guy's out washing the fire truck. I remember that as a kid. Living in Georgetown, South Carolina. It's a, it reminded me a lot of the little downtown area up here in Chehalis. A lot like it. I think what I might do, because I'm really kind of, I'm probably more curious about that Sony microphone. I have a feeling that the locale mic is going to be the clearest. By a long shot. Because I don't think that's something very, uh, very sensitive. summertime these trees right here are so beautiful absolutely gorgeous so we'll do the swap I'll be right back okay back to the back to the Sony I go to take off here and I see this weird like blacked out Wi-Fi thing on my uh, on my remote. What the hell was that? Did I touch something weird when I canceled that last video? Hopefully the last one's not there. Or gone. So anyway, I'm back to the lapel mic, which I have a feeling is probably gonna be the clearest because it's the cheapest one of the bunch. <laughs> and that uh that's some irony for you. I'm going to turn off this road up here. Frost Road, I think it is. How appropriately named is that? Yeah, Frost Road. We uh, had our horses boarded up there for a while. And uh, I used to drive up here and go check up on the horses. So anyway, once again, I'm going to stop. And uh, how long did I record that time? Please don't tell me that's 20 minutes. Well, it's kind of looking that way. 23 minutes. Holy shit. I gotta go. See ya.